Good evening. This is the Mystic Kitten. My name is Michelle, and we're going to carry on with the February 2021 Quick Hits. Please remember this is a general read. Also, like, subscribe, and share the videos in the channel so that we can reach a broader audience. I'm so grateful for all of the followers or all of the subscribers that I have gained last year, and I'm so excited to see what this new year is going gonna create and bring. And I'm always um, I'm always excited to see how the reads evolve and how you guys interact with the different, the new different reads and stuff like that. Next up is Scorpio. All right, Scorpio. Let's see what February has in store for you. Two more shuffles. Can I get six cards for Scorpio, please? Ooh, uh-oh. Four more cards. Two for current energy. Two for past energy, please. One more. Thank you. We're going to have to do some clarifying. <laughs> all right for sure some clarifying all right scorpio in your past energy you have the page of pentacles if i could pick it up i cut all my nails off and uh i can't pick anything up and you have the page of wands so i feel like you had a lot of things kind of starting up recently um a lot of information coming, a lot of like new beginnings or possible um, engagements with different people and, and sparking up new conversations. In the um, current energy, you have the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. So there's been a transition here. We've gone from, so the Knight of Wands, sorry, and the Knight of Pentacles. Um, so the transition is our Knight or our pages have moved into the nightum, right? So we've moved up in ranks. Um I'm getting the feeling here that this is a this is a couple now we all have um masculine and feminine feminine energy. So this could just mean that if it's it could be a male male relationship, it could be a female female relationship and it could be male and female. It just means that the two parties that are involved in this are more guided by their, their, they, they're just more masculine in their, um, demeanor, right? It doesn't mean that they're, they're of the male persuasion. Um, so take it as it resonates. So what this means is that your page, your page is very, it's new. It's, um, it's exciting. Whereas your night is more action taking. So it seems to me like there was a situation, there was a financial opportunity and there was a passionate, like a, a passion, a heart. And you kind of just made the decision to go forward with both. Um, I'm going to bring some clarifiers in. In the immediate future, you have the Eight of Wands and the Two of Swords. What this tells me is that you moved so fast, you missed some shit. So there's, with the Two of Swords, it's like, it's the unseen or it's secrets or it's um, turning a blind eye to things that you, you really shouldn't be. And then the Eight of Wands is like, it's that like really fast, exciting forward motion. So I feel like, because the two of swords, so because the two of swords is clarifying that eight of wands, um, that forward motion, because you're trying to move things along so quickly, you're missing steps or you're missing information or you're not taking certain things into consideration that really truly need to be taken into consideration. All right. 
Can you clarify the past energy, please, for Scorpio? All right, so you got the tower in reverse. You got the seven of pentacles and the five of pentacles. So yeah, somebody, all right. So there was, I think that this, this new, these two new beginnings or this two, um, these two energies, the page of pentacles and the page of wands, they were trying to, you were trying to build something back out of nothing with the tower being in the reverse. Um, and the seven of pentacles tells me that you are putting an awful lot of energy into it, but the, um, the five of pentacles, it feels like it's very one-sided. There's only one person here giving, which could be why we move into the knight of pentacles and the knight of wands is because, um, you are you've done the work, right? You knew that you had to put a, start to rebuild that, um, that foundation. Just know that one person is definitely doing more of the work. Yeah. See, I got the seven or the 10 of swords. Somebody feels like they're not being treated fairly. Like somebody feels like they're being stabbed in the back. Uh, clarify the present energy for Scorpio, please. Clarify present energy for Scorpio. Okay, you got the King of Cups in reverse and the Five of Swords. Somebody's being sneaky, 100%. So the King of Cups is somebody who's very closed off. So whoever's closed off in this um, union or in this scenario, they're being sneaky. And that's why they've closed off. And can we clarify the um, immediate future energy, please? Clarify the future energy for Scorpio. You. So you got the ma magician and the ten of cups. So yeah, this forward movement, I do think that you're going to be moving away from this, and that is going to bring you your ten of cups, that happiness, and you'll finally be in a situation where you'll be able to manifest and start making that that foundation that you thought you were building in the past. You will be able to build that, but you're going to have to get away from this energy, this push and pull, this sneaky detached energy. You have to get away from that before you're going to be able to have that new beginning or the happy ending anyways. Um, advice for Scorpio, please. Advice for Scorpio. I just heard, I already gave it. <laughs> All right. So we've got the star. Oh my mercy. The emperor. Justice. The three of cups. And the eight of pentacles. All right. This is, I mean, pretty cut and dry. You are trying to manifest. You do want something better. However, until you discover that emperor you leave this juvenile this page these this page energy this knight energy and you become your emperor you're not going to feel that sense of justice now it's going to be imperative that you implore your like the three of cups is all about like um unity and you, like the people around you because it's not a love reading um and then you're, and once you accept that, like, not help, but support, whether it be emotional or whatever, once you accept that village around you, um, you'll have the eight of pentacles. You'll have everything at your fingertips. All you have to do is reach out and grab it. All right, guys, let's get you a season of the witch card. And then we'll pull a oracle of E and you guys will be done. All right. So fast. Rooted. May you never tear the living ritual. May you never tear the living ritual that is magic merged within the roots of your being, the soil of your soul. Hmm. That's really pretty. Be true to yourself, right? That's all that is. 
just telling you to listen to you. Listen to your intuition. The magician's all about intuition, manifestation, making dreams become reality. You've got that inside you, Scorpio. We know you do. Fuck, a Scorpio can do anything. They just need to put their head to it, right? Get their mind and their heart on the same page, and you guys are unstoppable. All right, and hotline. Yeah, reach out. Reach out. You're not by yourself. None of us are by ourselves. As long as you look, look around you. You've got the support you need to make to make anything you want happen. You just need to really look. Reach out to those people. Tell the people that matter to you that they matter. Don't forget that because it's nice to hear it on both ends, right? All right, Scorpio, I hope this finds you with love and light in your heart. And until we meet again, blessed be. Good night.